What is up, you awesome Kisters and Assist Reactor guys? Today we are checking out the Five Nights at Freddy's final trailer. So if you didn't see it, go check out my video reacting to this initially on my channel because, oh my god, I was so hyped and I just love seeing that Spring Bonnie shot. I love seeing the different shots of the animatronics. And now I'm about to go back through the trailer and do like a little analysis of it because I was a little too hyped watching it the first time and I didn't notice a couple of things. So let's see if I can find things right now. So at the initial shot, of the trailer we got a side view of the office that mike is going to be working in and just oh my god i just love the the dedication to the original game like you got the original piece of crumpled up tin foil that had michael's burger in it from lunch and then you got the iconic cup too you got the iconic fan you got the phone sitting on the side but this time mike has a little camera control that we can actually see since this is a movie now, you can also see the shots that the animatronics are going to be in. This is the show stage camera where my mouse is pointing. And now this is the Pirate's Cove camera. And these are just other party rooms from the game. And I just love the fact that you can see all that. That's, that, that's so cool, man. I, I just love that Scott is finally getting the support that he needs to make this movie. And now it's like coming to fruition before our very eyes, bro. It's actually insane. But I just can't believe we actually got to see Pirate's Cove this time around. I don't think we've seen much of Foxy in the initial trailer like... We've seen a silhouette of him on a door, but we didn't really get to see him. But now we do in this trailer a lot. Like, oh my god, look at the Pirate's Cove, dude. It's just so awesome. And then the shots leading down to the hallway to the um, office looks nice, too. And at some point in the trailer, we had the parents. I'm going to assume, I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm going to assume these are the parents from the missing children's incident. I mean, we got only four parents here. I'm sure there needs to be a fifth parent. Or maybe like a brother and sister died and there can only be four parents. But I'm assuming they're coming back here to get revenge on Fazbear's because as soon as they opened up that garage, they started busting stuff up. Um, yeah, you can see right here, there's like a cracked, uh, a cracked, a cracked machine for an arcade game. They just started busting stuff up with crowbars. I can't believe I forgot what this type of game is called, but it's a game. I do love the fact that you can see in the trailer too that they went so far as to brand the pizza boxes with Freddy Fazbear's pizza on it. That that's pretty nice. Um I hope you love my OBS editing right here. And um a little bit into the trailer you can see some guy ran into the kitchen or I'm assuming one of the parents ran into the kitchen while busting it up and he heard like a little knocking inside of like one of the storage for the pizzas. And once the storage opened, there wasn't anything in there. So I like to see that the kids are using their brains from inside of the animatronics and are causing little paranormal activities to distract their prey. Because as soon as he checked it and seen that nothing was there, Chica was right behind him with the cupcake and stuff. Like, oh, look at that shot. Oh, my God. Like, she looks so dead inside. She's just looking right at him. It's like a shot from um, Help Wanted when they got you fixing the animatronics. And they like two seconds from lunging on you, bro. Hell nah. All right, just take a second to bash that shot in. What would you do if Chica was staring at you in the kitchen? Like, what, what could you really do, bro? And then the cupcake, too. Like, the cupcake looks like he wants to maul you to death. Look, look, look at him. And, yeah, while the cupcake's looking like he wants to maul somebody to death, he really did. They actually have Chica throwing the cupcake in this movie like she does in the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 game, and it actually attacks you. That's crazy. I feel like the cupcake causing the bite of 87 theories are going to start to pop off now. And um, as we can see, there's a shot of Michael going to work during the events of Five Nights at Freddy's 1. And throughout the trailer, Vanny or Vanessa, I don't know what the hell she's going by in the movie universe. I'm just going to call her Vanny for short. Vanny was telling Michael about the missing children's incident and how back in the 80s, the store was up, but the store went down because kids were gone and missing in the 80s. And I think and I think my theory of these being the parents busting up the store kind of holds up because they showed them first busting stuff up. And then they had Vanessa throughout the trailer explaining the missing children's incident. So, yeah. And it looks like when Michael goes into the building every night to do his uh, shift, he has to actually turn on the generator. The generators aren't on by default like it was in the game. So I like how it adds a little bit more spice and detail, seeing showing that we have to turn on the building to actually get started on the shift of six hours of plain horror. 
I also love to see that the sign turns on too once he turns on the generator. It just feels so nice seeing an actual Freddy Fazbear's location. We got a couple of shots of William Afton, or I'm gonna call him William Afton. I know he goes by a whole different name in the in the movie, but that's William Afton, all right? You know, that's that to us, that's William Afton. He he's the one who did it. He's the one who killed the kids, bro. He's the one who caused the the scenes. We got a nice shot of Michael right here looking at the pizza place. I can see the Let's Celebrate poster from the game in the background. This is so nice. Another shot of the show stage. And then we have Michael's little sister walking up to walking up to Pirate's Cove. It looks like Pirate's Cove has taken a little change. They don't have like the stars on the curtain no more. It's just straight up red curtains. And then you can see Foxy's eyes come out of the darkness like that. I didn't even notice that when I watched it at first. I just... Oh, like, what are you like? I love this frame by frame. What are you doing in this situation? Like, you're just looking into the darkness of some curtains. And the next thing you know, some red eyes start to fill up the darkness. Like, oh, hell no. I would have ran. I don't know why that girl was still standing there. And we have another shot of Michael finding a door. And you can see all the animatronics are on the door. I like I like this little art they did. You can see Foxy, Freddy and Chica. Like, they look all they don't, they don't even look. They don't even look friendly. Not even like on the on this little poster right here or, or drawing. They don't look friendly. They look terrifying. And then we got our shot of Vanny wearing, I think, a police outfit. So I guess she works with the police trying to investigate Freddy's throughout the movie. Yeah, that's definitely going to work well for her, right? And they also showed the Showtime button and, you know, the animatronics coming out of their designated spots. We can see... The cove lit up and Foxy just standing there with his mouth wide open because he was probably about to attack um, Mike's little sis. Look at his eye, bro. They got it. They got it right, dude. Look at his eye. Like, I'm just terrified. Mm -mm. Those those eyes look like 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 there's a demon in there. I mean, there are I mean, there technically is a demon in there, but shoot, like, yeah. And you got the still shots of the animatronics on the stage. You got Chica, Freddy and Bonnie. And then at some point, Bonnie sparked. I, I don't know why he sparked, but he did. So I guess pressing the Showtime button causes like some type of malfunction. And they showed the missing children. One, two, three, four, five. They showed the missing children during the explanation of the incident. And then we got to see a torture scene of, and of I guess of what it appears to be someone getting stuffed. Oh, God. So, I feel like it was more merciful in the game universe to get stuffed by an animatronic suit, because they just, like, try to stuff you in there like you're just, like, you know, stuffing for a teddy bear or something like that. In this universe, it looks like you get, like, the whole mad doctor type of torture from William Afton. He'll strap you to a chair, and then you get to see the animatronic parts start to move and stuff, and once it gets on your face, you get all cut up. That's terrible. So, if they're doing, if they're doing that for the stuffing... Imagine what's going to happen to him once he actually gets spring-locked, probably by the end of the movie. And speaking of William Afton getting spring-locked in the... Oh, wait. Before I get ahead of myself, we also see the... Um, I think her name is Cat on Twitter. We get to see the shots of Cat walking up to the Freddy Fazbear suit. Yeah, I think, I think these are the parents. Because, like, why are they specifically going for the suits? Because in the newspaper, they... It, it specified that the suits were all dirty and nasty and there was like this dead body smell coming from it so maybe she wanted to see if that was true and see if that her see if her little boy was in there because she ain't smiling she ain't doing it as a prank she's like looking in there like is there really somebody in these damn suits and the next thing you know she 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 um she fucked around and found out there was somebody in that suit there was like a hand that came out wait i'm trying to get the frame by frame because i don't want copyright Oh wait, did they? I'm sure they showed the hand coming out, but they um, but I can't do the frame by frame right. But in the other trailer, oh, never mind, there it is. Yeah, she she fucked around and found out there there was a kid inside the suit, and she got dragged in bite of '87 style. Yikes! And I guess there's gonna be like a whole scary ball pit scene within the movie because you can see Mike's little sis hiding in there, and then. There's a shot of Bonnie chasing Mike down a hallway, like the ones you see in Security Breach. And oh man, look at the look at this shot. You can see Foxy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Foxy's gonna be the scariest motherfucker in this movie. I'm, I'm telling you. Look at this. She's hiding behind an arcade machine, 
And then there's just Foxy with his red eye back there. But they did the shots right. That, that is terrifying. And didn't something like this happen in the Silver Eyes book where I think Charlie was hiding in between some arcade machines and Foxy was like swinging his hook and destroying them, trying to chase her around? Like, ugh. Oh, God. I didn't notice that, too. Look at this. They got Mike in the dusty vents. Ugh. Oh, Lord. Uh, can, can you guys survive in that? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think you can survive without catching something in those dusty, musty vents? But this is what I was talking about earlier. I think when you press the showtime button, something happens to Bonnie because he just started sparking. Like, bro just had a, like, bro just had a tiny little accident. Look at that. Like, <laughs> my gosh, bro. Bro sparked. And they showed this... They showed this on the final part of the first trailer as well, I think, where Mike was trying to open a door all frantically, and then I think they cut to him just screaming. But they finally extended the scene a little bit to show that it wasn't one of the main cast chasing Mike. It was actually Springtrap. Or people were trying to people were trying to um correct me in the comments from my initial reaction video, they're trying to tell me that that's actually just Spring Bonnie right now. So that means William Afton is in there trying to act like an animatronic. Be I guess, yeah, William Afton is in there trying to act like an animatronic and he's actually not spring locked yet. So he's just kind of fucking around in the suit, but he's about to find out later when someone kicks that suit or puts some water in it and he's going to get spring trapped. And it's going to be funny and satisfying to see it. It's going to be real satisfying to watch him get spring locked. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to, I want to play the clip, even if I get it like a little bit of copyright on here. Look, look at that. Look, look at how, look how crazy he is. Like, they, they really show how crazy this motherfucker is in the movie, I can tell. Because bro took the knife and he did this with it. Like, like why, why did he do this? He, he, he's ready to kill somebody. He needs an opportunity to kill somebody. I know that, I know that Matthew Lillard is probably licking his lips too. Like, yeah, I'm going to kill this guy. Oh my gosh. I like I like how I like how the movie can get me this hyped talking about it. I, I just know this is gonna be a good one. This ain't gonna be some cheap car this this ain't gonna be some cheap garbage. This is gonna be something that really gets the fan base hyped and will allow new people who entered the fan base to get hyped as well if they haven't played the game. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the Five Nights of Freddy's uh final movie trailer. I'm glad they didn't show a lot and I'm glad they kinda improvised not improvised. They kind of improved, no. They kind of extended <laughs> some of the shots from the last trailer. Sorry it took me, like, way too long to find the proper word for, um, filling something up. So, yeah. I'm glad they didn't show a lot of spoiler scenes. They just showed us some, well, I mean, Springtrap is kind of a huge spoiler, but if you haven't played the games, yeah, that's a huge spoiler for you. They extended some scenes and didn't spoil too much, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, October 27th is going to be a peak day, everybody. Comment down below your favorite animatronic. I'm getting out of here. I'll see you later. Peace out.